Okay, so I just rewatched the first X-Men movie and there's a question lingering on my mind. Who is the most powerful mutant? It's this guy, by the way. So I got to thinking, how would you kill this guy? And for those of you who don't know, this guy is Matthew Malloy, also known as the most powerful mutant in existence, at least detected by Cerebro. Cerebro is basically a mutant tracking device that the X-Men use to locate different mutants and see how powerful they are. Matthew Malloy is an Omega level mutant who Charles Xavier calls the largest mutant power source Cerebro has ever detected. Matthew has the ability to tap into an extra dimensional power source which allows him to warp reality to his will, which also gives him the ability to do many cool things, such as Matthew can use telekinesis, which is the ability to move objects at a distance by the mental power or by any other non-physical means. Telepathy is one of the most powerful psychic abilities. It's known as a mind-to-mind -mind communication, which feelings are exchanged between a sender and a receiver. Matthew has shown the ability to read minds, block psychic waves, and see through illusions. Matthew has also been seen to have the ability of energy generation. He was capable of producing a large destructive energy that can warp the environment around him, creating destructive explosions of race beings out of existence. Matthew can also manipulate matter meaning he can create, shape, manipulate, summon, destroy and customise all possible forms of matter and that also includes dark matter, antimatter, and tachyons. Matthew has also shown the ability to teleport when he teleported himself and others to a different location. Matthew has also shown the ability of self-resurrection. He is capable of bringing himself back from death, however this ability only works in himself and not others, meaning he can't bring others back to life. Matthew also has space-time manipulation meaning he is able to manipulate, distort, or bend the space-time continuum, the fabrics of reality in which all exist. Space-time serves as the boundary of existence, separating different realities, timelines, and keeping them flowing properly. Distorting this boundary can cause devastating effects, causing timelines to become fluid, or even destroying all the worlds, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, with all that power, you think, right, maybe you'd have an easy weakness, like a green rock, or like a, the colour yellow, or something, but no. Here's its weakness. Extreme emotion causes Malloy to unleash his power unintentionally and often with devastating results. So to kill him we have to make him really upset or angry. So I'm thinking maybe we can wait until he's got some food, kind of like smack the food out of his hand and run away. He'll get angry, maybe blow up some buildings, the building hits him, he dies. But he's got self-resurrection so, so I don't know. Take that with the game as well. Even though Matthew Malloy is one of the most powerful beings in the Marvel Universe, there are a few beings with more power than him, such as Eternity, Living Tribunal, The Beyonder, and the one above all, who is pretty much God of Marvel. So if you wanted to kill him, you could get one of those on your team, you'd pretty much win straight away. However, I wanted to talk about Franklin Richards. Franklin Richards was the son of Reed and Susan Richards, also known as the Invisible Woman and Miss Fantastic. They developed their superhuman powers as a result of exposure to cosmic radiation during a flight out of space and became superheroes. Years later, the cosmic radiation that gave them their powers was also making their son Franklin's mutant powers develop in the womb, which was harming Susan. With Franklin's birth imminent, Mr. Fantastic and the rest of the team went to the negative zone to retrieve the control rod, a source of power for the user. Once they drained its energy, they went back to Susan and injected it into her blood. The power of the control rod succeeded and Susan gave birth to a healthy son. However, the cosmic radiation that gave them their powers also altered Richard's genetic structure, making him a mutant. However, unlike most mutants whose powers develop during puberty, his developed at an early age of infancy. Okay, so now that we've talked about the people that could beat him using raw power alone, we can talk about a different way of beating him. So, Matthew gains his powers from a different dimension. So I figured, However many times you kill him, he's still going to come back because he can self-resurrect. So the easiest thing to do would be to get rid of his powers, and to do that, destroy the dimension from which he pulls his powers from. And there is a guy that has the power to destroy dimensions. His name? It's a, it's a pretty interesting one. Shuma Gorath, aka Mr. Tentacle. Shuma Gorath lives in his own dimension, so if you manage to persuade him to destroy Matthew's dimension from his own, and then maybe just get him to teleport over to Matthew's dimension and I don't know, like shove a tentacle up his mouth, make it come out of his nose, he'd probably probably die. So there we go, we have successfully figured out how to kill the most powerful mutants in existence. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more of these videos. Comment down below who you would like us to kill next and I'm hoping to see you 
on the next video and by the way I do know this wasn't the best video this is my first one so hopefully down the line we'll get better and hopefully I'll see you guys sticking with us and hopefully we'll be a good channel ish kind of yeah okay bye <laughs>